Put in the Nazareth, was feeling by half past ten. I just need a place to go where I can lay my head. Hey, mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just smiled and shook my hand and no was all he said. Take a load off Eddie. Take a load for free. Take a load off Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the load right on me. She got a fine sense of humor when I'm feeling down. I'm running to her. She takes away my trouble, she takes away my grief. She takes away my heartache, and I go right to sleep. She gave me love, 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 crazy love. She gave me love, 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 crazy love. Yes, I need her in the daytime. Yes, I need her in the night. Yes, I want to throw my arms around her, kiss her, hug her, and a kiss another time. When I'm returning from a long day, Hi, Cindy. Love you give me some sweet love and it brightens up my day. It makes me righteous, yes, it makes me whole. So it close. makes me mellow right down to my I soul. Help Take a load off it, Take a load for free. Take a load off it, hey, hey, hey. Put the load right on me. So if anyone was listening to that and then in the middle went, huh? Uh, another song that Jay and I used to do a lot was uh, The Wait. And that one is actually on the covers with Friends album. So did a little mashup. Uh, that'd be kind of fun to do the mashup on the album too. I don't know. I've never done that before. That was fun. Um, this side, I think, right? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Good. How are you? Good. Uh, just a heads up, E4K is April 16th and 17th. Anybody have a so question you, you want me to ask? April? 16th, 17th. 16th and 17th. Okay. Yeah. I just have to make sure that I don't need my voice 18th, 19th, or 20th. I believe in you. You can do Okay. That. Thanks. So my question is, uh, you just had a station break show. You're having another station break show, both in LA. Any East Coast shows planned ever in the immediate future, distant future? I don't care when. <laughs> future? Uh, East Coast shows uh, desired, but not planned yet. But, uh, but we'd like to. We definitely would like to. Yeah. Do it, please. Please do it. I'm, I'm no, from the East Coast. he's not so doing Tough Mudder. I used to do, well, uh, like, once a year. Well, he's not doing it in like, May. Uh, Boston, He'll probably York, do it with Philly, the boys when they DC. do it, but I don't know when they're doing it. Because the Austin one those, is in. I mean, I'm from Toronto. Is that the same time as Jib? I love, I love it. A little hard. Can you guys hear me talking? So, like I'm in. I'm in. Oh, that's the question you want me to ask him. Okay, I can ask that question. Hi. Hi. You have a really lovely voice, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, Your speaking voice is lovely too. Oh, thank you. Um, I was wondering if you could do a collaboration with a musician, living or dead, who would it be and why? Good question. Uh, I would, if oh, I'm I could sorry, pick it's breaking anyone, up. It looks really good from here. It would probably be. I have two answers. One, Sam Cooke, because he's my favorite, and I would just love to hear him sing in front of me. Um, and then two, I would, I would probably pick like a singer producer, somebody that could kind of take what I do and do something crazy with it. You know, somebody like, a, I don't know. Prince, maybe, or uh, Ooh, that would be crazy. Something fun, you know what I mean, where he and could take what I do. So, oh, yeah, there you, you go. Get away to that. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Speaking of Prince. Okay, I'll ask the Tough Matter question.
girl, you don't have to be cool. To Help me with what? side project. Uh, Rob and I found ourselves in the same place at the same time quite a bit, and we both had our guitars. Um, so we started uh, singing together. And we would uh, we'd do some cover stuff, and he would sing on some of my original stuff, and I would sing some of his stuff. Um, and we ended up doing a kind of a tour together with a lot of that. And um, it just was really fun. I, I love Rob's voice, and I love his vibe and his musicality and we're uh, kind of different sides of the same coin in a way like uh, his voice and my voice uh, we love singing with each other but we don't sound like each other at all uh, and his influences are way different than mine we like a lot of the same stuff but I grew up listening to a lot of like Motown and you know that kind of stuff and Rob was listening to a lot of rock and roll um, so all that to say we kind of looked at each other and we were like, this is really fun. We should do this more. Uh, we should write some stuff together. And so we did. And, uh, and then we took it on tour. And um, so the Station Breaks is the band that has kind of spontaneously come up through that uh, connection. And uh, Billy uh, plays guitar for us. Um, and it's really fun for me, too, because I get to put the guitar down and just sing, which I've uh, never do before. Um, so the three of us actually got together and wrote some, some stuff. Um, and it's I forgot mine. Too because so it's, lame. All, it's all different I was gonna have him sign influences. It. To answer I your question, it. that was a very circuitous route to get to your question. Uh, some of the songs I brought in, some Rob brought in, some Billy brought in. And so there was kind of a framework there. And sometimes we had maybe a verse written or a verse chorus. And then the three of us would sit down and kind of put our own input into it. Um, so what we're left with is, is a really neat kind of mixture of all of us. So uh, the first verse might be about me being away from home too long. And the second verse might be about Rob dealing with something going on in his life. And the third verse might be about uh, Billy being really awesome at guitar. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so it, it would kind of depend on the specific song to be able to really uh, narrow it down. But there is a lot of traveling theme in there uh, because it seems like the three of us are only together. Now we have rehearsal in LA once in a while, so that's fun, but it seems like for a long time we would only see each other out of town. We'd see each other at, you know, at events or at shows or something. So there's a lot of like, traveling, being gone. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you. I, Don't be nervous. I forget to read the question. questions. I forget to read the questions. Sorry, I made you stand there a really long time while I talk. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Um, oh, sorry. I cut his head off. To a person who wants to be in the music industry. Stop being nervous. <laughs> are you stage right? Um, I, it, ner nerves are normal. Nerves are always going to be there. I was nervous coming up on the stage, and I've done it thousands of times. Um, it's, uh, you just have to keep doing it, really. You know, the, the, the more you play, it's not necessarily that the nerves go away. They lessen a little bit, but um, you learn Hello. how to deal with them, and you learn how to kind of channel them into your show and how to use it as energy for your performance. I don't know if um, he's going to get to my question. But that's my advice. Do you play two people instrument? ahead of me, handful of people on the other side. Okay. I want to play that's uh, advice part B, subsection B. Learn, learn an instrument. Just because it, it's, 
even for me, like I've played guitar for a long time, but I, I'm not, uh, I'm not like Billy. You know what I mean? So I would even know that in my own songwriting, I would have songs that I wanted to play and I could hear where I wanted it to go, but I, I couldn't find it on my instrument. You know, so it, it, it um, handicapped me a little bit sometimes in my songwriting. Um, so, but the more you know an instrument, the more you can kind of let what's in your brain come out um, and just play every chance you get, everywhere you can. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one more. Hi. Hello. How are you? Great, how are you? I'm really good. I'm super nervous right now. <laughs> but I'm good. <laughs> I want to know how come you're not going to be at karaoke tomorrow. Who says I'm not? Woo! It's not listed in the program. Well, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> I, uh, I love to sing. And I, I like I like my friends, so I, my friends are singing. And if I'm allowed, if I'm allowed to be there, maybe I'll. Come, come You're allowed. Oh, sweet, perfect. God said I was allowed. Right? So, God's best spoken. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I would love to sing with you. Okay, awesome. I'm in. What are we singing? We'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, got, we got stuff to discuss. Well, yeah, perfect. Anybody out there know what time it is? said this was his favorite song so far that he's written. Times of 
Lucy, that was my, my grandfather helped me buy that guitar. It's my first guitar I got it um, in college. Took every what are you offering? One summer, and then really my granddad bought it because I didn't make much money that summer. What can you bring him? Give me an idea of something to tell him that you're going to bring him. So thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Okay. Um, my question is like, like, when have you started? Anita, where are you coming from? Like, um, being on a stage and playing in front of a crowd like this, but like, like, when have you started singing and playing the guitar? Um, I, my dad had a guitar. Uh, I couldn't see if it was Virginia um, or Washington. That was in the attic that I found. Maybe I can't remember how old I was exactly, but maybe fifth, fourteen, fifteen, or something. Um, and so I played it, but I, I knew. I oh, said he's I from Virginia. I felt like it was cool, I'll tell him you'll bring him cheese from Williamsburg. Guitar. You know what I mean? I knew three chords, and um, I knew half of probably five songs. And I would play the half that I knew and then put the guitar down like I had something to, else to do. <laughs> um, and then in college, and I sang a little bit, but, but then not you have really to actually bring some. Much, you know? So he'll um, be waiting for it. And I never played for it. Uh, and then I got to college and I did some. Oh, Cindy, uh, you're so thoughtful. I tried to play sports, and they told me that I was not good enough to play sports, <laughs> which was, shock, it was a shock to me. <laughs> I disagreed, but but anyway, they made decisions. So I needed something else to do with my time, and I saw a sign that said, "Hey, if you like to travel and you like to have fun and you like to sing, join the stairwells." And it was an acapella group at the College of William and Mary, and um, and I was like, "Well, I like to travel." I like to have fun. I have no idea if I can sing or not, but I feel like I can, maybe. So I tried out for this acapella group, and I ended up getting in, and then that's kind of where I learned most of what I know about, you know, harmony especially, and then singing and kind of voice control and all that kind of stuff. So, and I played a little bit more guitar, but I didn't really start performing until I moved to L.A. after college, like just as a singer-songwriter. So, and I got a little bit of a late start, I would guess, compared to some. I, I'm guessing you play. No. <laughs> I'm guessing you want to play. I, I don't know. <laughs> you're, think, you're thinking about playing. I don't know. My dad plays, but I don't. Okay. 
that was such an interesting question from someone who has apparently no desire to play. What did you, okay. I think you should play. You seem like you'd be really good. <laughs> I look forward to following your progress. Thank you. Thank you. Ten after five, yeah. Ah, the tough mutter question. Um, my favorite one. Because uh, I have to get an autograph at ten after five. It's tough to pick a favorite. So I'm gonna have so to go. Terrible. <laughs> um, uh, pro probably the the dive, like where you just jump off of the thing into the water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I needed I needed one win the whole the whole day, um, and it was just you just had to jump into water. And by that point, you're so covered in mud and you're so ready to uh, get it off of you. That the, the no, I have great. to get Brock um, Kelly's gonna sign my whiskey say, bottle. I have to go. Uh, that would be a tie between uh, electric. Oh, shock Anita, therapy. don't even ask. You, I'm, sure I'm having issues. About the tough mutter, right? You've seen the video. If you don't know what it is, uh, me and a couple of the fellas, we did a uh, obstacle. Oh, you and a couple of the fellas. Miles and change, and uh, there was a bunch of these crazy obstacles we had to run through. Um, and one of which was. Uh, I want him to see my tough mutter shirt. <laughs> Who says that's a good idea when you're so. Young? That's what I, I said. That's why I didn't really um, answer that they question. Have these little tentacles hanging down, and, and they're just like, all right, um, run through it. Like, there's no like, obstacle, nothing. You just run through and get electrocuted. And, and they're all, I think if you get shot by a taser, it's 50,000, right? Bolts. And uh, all of the little tentacles um, were 10, except for the. <laughs> okay, big I'll ones, talk to you later. Which were 30. Um, and they hurt real bad. <laughs> so you're running through and you kind of feel like it No, but if Brock Kelly hurts, leaves, then I'll never get him to sign my bottle. And it kind I of have to get him to sign and my and bottle. Like, but the, it's torture because you don't know if you've hit a 30,000 one yet. Like they all hurt so bad until you get hit by a 30,000 one. And then you're like, oh, that was, it felt, felt like somebody hit you on the head with a two by four. Yeah, you, if you look it up, you, we had thankfully run out of battery. All of the cameras, all the GoPros were out of battery at that point, so there was no footage of us going through. I don't want to see what I look like going through that thing. But, um, but if you look it up on YouTube, you can see people just passing out. But you can still right? sign my bottle. Hitting them with momentum. <laughs> Into the mud. Oh, be quiet. Sliding. It's awesome. Thank you for that trip down. Right, I wanted to see my right shirt. Now. Really appreciate that question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. I don't even remember now that the electroshock has made it go out of my brain. Um, what was the other one that I hated? I don't know. I'll think about it. I can't remember. One more. Hi, Jason. My name is Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi. Um, I love the passion with which you do what you do. It's super inspiring, and I wondered how you feel about um, helping. Is it ten after five yet? Would you maybe sing a verse of something with me right now? Bring it. Oh okay. my gosh, you're gonna sing. I don't, I don't care what song. Like, I don't know. Like, okay, you want to sing or sing? I don't, like, don't want to be like, hey, play this. If you don't know why don't, why don't, why don't we do it with the whole band? Okay. <laughs> What's up? Uh, come on up. Why not? Oh, there she goes. Um. What uh, what should we sing, fellas? She, she tell the band, ask the band. I, I thought you were gonna pick. Are you picking uh, the song? I can pick. You pick. Do, do you know Angelus? No. Elliot Smith? No. Nope. Okay. I know you did that with Jensen once, but um, I don't know, like something. You guys pick. I don't know. I'm scared. Do you know Crazy Love? Not all the words. Oh. Do you know what part of it? I'm worried about my lyrics, like I mean, I'm worried about my lyrics. 
This is one of those questions that when you get on stage, you realize maybe I shouldn't have asked. Okay, I gotta go. Sorry, bye. Can we do like something classic, like a journey or something that we all know?